folks, Kevin here again. I'm uh, heading out for another overnight camp with the hammock. And uh, this time I'm not going too far away from home. It's about an hour's drive with the car. The place today is called Kazi Bori or Kask Barriot. And it's on a rather large island in the middle part of the archipelago sea called Nauvo in Finnish and Nago in Swedish. Trying a new little piece of gear. I have one of those foam wind killer things to put on around the camera, which makes it look rather strange. But uh, hopefully when we get to the, the top of the hill, where it'll probably be quite windy, it'll be interesting to see if this uh, wind slayer, wind killer, wind slayer thing actually works or not. Okay, so here is probably one of the biggest ant mounds I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, see how big it is compared to me? The thing is absolutely massive. Okay, so here's a sign on the path, and it says Varo maastosta putoavia jäitä That means watch out for ice falling from the mast I don't think it's going to necessarily be a big problem this, this time of year Okay, so we've gained enough elevation so that we're actually onto the bedrock and as you can see by the few dead pines and otherwise quite dried out looking leaves on some of the trees, water is at quite a premium here. It also makes me wonder how on earth the pines can survive when they can't get their roots down into the, into the actual bedrock. Of course water is the key to life. And where water collects in pockets, here just a few meters away, if I turn it this way and go forward a bit, there is a pocket full of there's uh, sedges, there's bog cotton, there's even a little bit of water left right in the middle. And here you'll find animals like frogs, newts, and uh, larger animals of course come to drink here. Um, I don't know if you can see that there's tracks quite large, probably moose have come to drink here at some stage. There is currently a forestry fire warning in effect for most of southern Finland. And uh, yeah, I think it's just as well because everything here is bone dry. All you would need to have would be one spark and this whole place would go up like a torch. So, welcome to the top of Kasivuori, Kasperiet. What a view. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Yep, now I know why I do this.
So thanks to this wonderful site for hosting me for the night and uh, yeah I think I'll definitely be coming to this place again because uh, it's absolutely beautiful and uh, really really quiet. Okay about an hour's hike back to the car. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, it's amazing how much hotter it is on this land side compared to the seaside. At least there's a nice cool breeze. Oh. And I don't have any water left. Luckily it's quite close to go back to the car. Maybe another 10 minutes. I guess I'll survive that. Oh, let's keep going. Well, back in the car in one piece. Well, that was good fun. I really enjoyed it and I definitely will go again. Total distance was something like six, six or seven kilometers altogether. So, and that was broken up by a, a night's rest. So very doable and very enjoyable. No huge elevation gains. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure with me. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you again on the next trip. Until then, hey, hey, and all the best. Bye-bye.